Switch. We get that, everybody? Good. Also, she's cut the knee bent the whole time. She's not spitting the leg. See you, Adam. Nice, man. So you see we're going in two different directions with each leg, right? First time backing around. Good. It's kid stuff. Back to the ball of the foot. You hear me the lift hold. Out, out the gate. Smack it, smack it, smack it. Make a funny face. Now, this job here is to be clean, smooth, and fast. Nice, dude. Let's get sideways so America can see there, dude. There it is. Nice. Other side. Eight per side, everybody. See your fancy version. Working on that ball of the foot. See you got that ball of that foot on a couple? Good. Knee up. Lunge. Stay low. Good. Right and left. Nice, man. That's that. Go. 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 Keep your chest up though, you're just dropping in your chest, so keep your chest up. There it is, better. Good. Knee up. Lunge. Stay low. Good. Knee up. Stay low. Little double lunge. Fantastic. Good. Smack my mirror. Yeah, what's why you shaking? Good. Do as much as you go. Go down. Go down. Good. Go down. Great leg. Flex the quad. Good. Same thing you ever said. Nice. Go to the bench one. Drop the knee. Rise both the hand and the foot. And then stand up. Four. Good. Learn to get a tension. Track the hand and the foot as you're coming up. Want to do that while you're down. What's up everyone, I'm back to talk about PAP Lower from P90X2. PAP stands for Post Activation Potentiation for those of you who are not familiar with it. Okay, it's a training style that will take your athleticism and performance to the next level. This is what you've been building up to. From phase one and two, you're building up to routines like this. And man oh man, this routine definitely does not disappoint. It delivers an excellent workout. So with that said, let's just get started. I want to start by giving a tip for this workout. Form is king, alright? I know I said that a lot, but um, I can't stress it enough. Form is critical here. You're doing a squat cross reach in the second complex. You need to really focus on your form and make sure that you're doing every rep that you can to, to your maximum potential. And the form is so important to really take your performance to the next level. 
All right, for example, you're doing the Tony's triangle. You have to point the toe down to trigger a muscle in your upper glutes. Basically, that's the injury prevention muscle that's going to help you perform better in your legs. And with this routine, virtually all sports involve the lower half, so there's a lot of potential with this routine. You, you can really um, perform better in the areas that you want to perform better in. So that's a huge pro for me. In that regard, you can honestly see a lot of benefits to PAP. However, this is not for everyone because one thing with PAP lower and upper, you're repeating these workouts twice in one week. So if it's too repetitive for you, this probably won't be what you want to do. But if you're willing to follow the schedule and watch your performance soar, then I definitely recommend this workout. Probably my favorite among the PAP workouts. And honestly, probably my favorite lower body workout in this program. I do love plow side, don't get me wrong. I also love face and back. But something about PAP lower, it's just every time I'm done, I'm completely thrashed, and but I feel so good. And yeah, it's, you know, you're taking a beating from PAP, but it will honestly help you get much better at performing better in areas that we want to perform better in. So, I'm going to talk about what I mean by that now. I, I have given the tip as form is king, so I'm going to talk about PAP. What is PAP? Okay, PAP involves these complexes, okay? You're doing two complexes in this routine. What is a complex? A complex is a series of four moves repeated for four times. So, what, what do I mean by that? Okay, the four exercises that you're doing, like for example, in the first half you're doing the step up convict, then you're doing the skater plyo, and then the one leg hop, and then the Tony's triangle. Okay, what I remember, I showed that move in my video. The Tony's triangle move, you want to really turn the toe down, okay? That's triggering your injury prevention type muscles in your upper glutes. So, pay attention to your form, okay? It's very important. Alright, so back to what I was saying. These four moves that I just listed, the step up convicts, skater plyo, one leg hop, and Tony's triangle, you're repeating that for four rounds, okay? Trust me when I say you're going to be pretty tired even from the first complex alone. In my opinion, the second complex is where things get really hard because you're doing the killer Catherine lunges or what in this routine they call it a split squat jump where essentially you really want to jump as high as you possibly can okay when you're doing like those Catherine lunges and plyometrics from the old P90X you're just doing jump lunges but with PAP lower you want to maximize your height and go as high as you can because essentially what PAP does that I did not talk about is it takes your muscles and it kind of wakes them up, okay? It, it helps with motor fiber recruitment, all right? What do I mean by that? Okay, basically, there's this whole idea that when you're doing a power-based movement, there are a number of muscle cells that are asleep. Then, when you're doing a resistance exercise followed by a plyometric exercise, and you maximize your height as much as you can you're gonna wake up those muscles and then when you're doing like the monster slaloms and like in complex two you're going to even wake up more muscles and then wh while you're doing the side bridge leg lifts at the end those move gosh i hate that exercise you probably saw in the video that i struggled pretty that's a really hard move and every time i do that move i'm completely thrashed by the end but anyways once you're done with the second complex and you realize, wow, PAP is no joke because you can feel your muscles just on board firing because by the time I'm at that second complex and I'm doing that side bridge leg lift, I'm completely soaked and why, why am I soaked? 
why am I so sweaty? Because PAP works. Okay, if you're not sweating as much as I am during the routine, you're not doing the workout to its full potential. Okay, with a lot of X2 workouts, so you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. Which leads to my next tip. I talked about PAP now, I'm going to talk about my next tip. Okay, my next tip is make every rep count. Okay, you really want to basically pay attention to every rep that you're doing. And while I go back to my next tip, pay attention to your form that I said for tip one. Alright, pay, pay attention to your form and also make every rep count because this is going to really help you maximize your benefits with PAP. And then when you're ready and you're on board, trust me when I say PAP will help you perform better, okay? But there are a lot of people out there who will think this routine is about muscle hypertrophy in the legs. No, we're not learning to gain muscular legs, okay? This is about performance, not hypertrophy, alright? So, just remember that. And that's about everything I have to say about this workout, okay? Uh, one other thing that I wanted to briefly mention is I really enjoy Colette's presence in this routine. Um, she's one of the kids in the back. She's pretty cute. Uh, I believe she's also an X2 admin for V Sculpt. Yeah, just good times when I do this workout. I can always look at Colette. She's pretty cute. Okay, 10 out of 10 rating. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. And stay tuned for more drum covers as well and more fitness reviews. See you later.